What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just gonna break bad? I said this already, I got a new job. Working for a new company. I'm loving the money. Loving the money. The money's good, right? What I strongly dislike is that I'm teaming with another individual and then on top of that, it's a home weekly job. Because it's home weekly, I'm not necessarily home, but I'm home somewhere. I'm somewhere, okay? So I'm basically out of Ohio. And because I'm out of Ohio, I spend my weekends in Ohio. Not cool. I mean, it's not not cool. It's just where I am. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm in a house full of men. Some of them are just like very rude. Hey Sam. Some of them are very rude. I had one try and hit on me in an indirect way. But then you want to talk about my culture. You want to say, oh, what type of culture you have? And don't tell me that Wakanda bullshit. What? I thought no more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. My girl blue. <laughs> Shy day back in the building. What's up? Man, I can't call it, man. I, I can't call it. I see you're with a uh I see you with a new company. You uh uh with a new trucking company. Uh you're doing FedEx. So for everybody out there, like like explain to explain to people like you're not working like directly with FedEx. You're working with a uh a, a, a owner operator that has an account through FedEx. How did that? How did that yeah. work? How did that work? And how did how did that come? Uh, how did that uh, job come about for you? Especially you being out of Florida. Okay, so oddly enough. Um, I got a call from a stranger. Uh, they knew somebody that I knew, and they just so happened to know that I was out of a job for the moment, for the time being, so they wanted to make me an offer. Um, so they called me up, let me know the details of the job, and I said I was down. And it was a compromise off-rip because it was a teaming job, which I did not want to do. But the money sounds good enough for me to, you know, compromise. But basically, like you said, I'm contracted through an owner operator who also has a contract or an account with FedEx. And I'm just working under FedEx's name, you know, just to deliver their freight. Well, you okay? But so it's the, it's it's the other way around. You you're working on you want you're working under him, under yeah. You you said it right. My fault. What what the fuck? You work you working under him, <laughs> uh, by way of FedEx's uh uh, what do you call it? What 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 I'm what I'm missing? Uh, laws and regulations. Uh uh, restrict. Yeah. yeah. You you know what I'm you know what I'm saying so yeah so you yeah. said he just so you said he just up and called you out of a blue because you knew someone that knew someone that knew someone which which to get certain jobs like that you do have to know someone to know someone to know someone um yeah of course teaming uh money is always good well sometimes it's always good as a team. Right. But this is your first time teaming. There was a lot of stuff that you had to adapt to. Tell us some of the stuff right. that, that, that you had to adapt to. So the first thing I had to adapt to with the team is sharing space on the truck. So I'm used to doing OTR and having all my space to myself, not having to share any space. But, you know, be considerate in that way, which my, you, my teammate was not. I felt like, I felt like, you know, we got on the truck and she had the truck fully loaded with things of her own. And we had to have a conversation about her downsizing 
you know, in case of, I wanted to bring more things that would make us hard, make it hard for us to move around in the truck. Now, um, now this was another, now as far as the truck goes, like was the truck. Well, y'all teaming, so this is not like a trainer t- trainee type deal. This is like right. teaming, so y'all two act literally needed to sit down and be like, "Look, uh, I need some space," and you know, as going forward, we we gonna have to we we gonna have to compromise on that. How how did that? Um, yeah. Without going into too much detail, how did that conversation go? I mean, I tried to do it in a joking manner, but, like, be firm in saying, like, my God, you got it all packed up in here. If I would have brought my stuff, we would be in trouble, you know, because my first mind was, let's scope out the view of what we're working with, what type of truck we're going to be in, which is a totally different truck than what I'm used to. Um, And let's see the space that we're working with because I don't want to overcompensate and have so much stuff and take up a lot of space. So I just really brought my hardcore necessities and, you know, was considerate. But, like, I just had to tell her, like, some of the stuff you have on here is not needed, like a cookbook. Why do you need a cookbook on the truck? A thick ass cookbook at that. I mean, I get it. Like, it may be something new that you might have bought off the road, cool, but you say this is your cookbook, you can't go anywhere without. Um, yes, you can. If I could go somewhere without some things that I like to travel with, you can too. Now, <clears throat> is this the only woman? Like, is there more women that's working with you at this company, or is this the only woman, or you and her are the only women at the company? There are other women. There's one woman who does things solo by herself, and it works for her um, because she has short runs. She doesn't do the long runs like I do. To do a short run, you have to only run so many miles and then there's another woman but she's partnered up with her a partner with her man and so she actually knew my partner now that i'm with and she didn't want to partner with my partner and leave her man so my partner had to get another woman that she could partner with and that's when i came to the picture so there's two other women outside of us Okay, okay, okay. Because I was just kind of wondering if it was like only one woman, she kind of felt like a little bit more authority, uh, authoritative. You know what I'm saying? Because you know how when that one woman comes on the truck and she had the truck all by herself and she feels entitled, and then all of a sudden she had to share her space and her her uh, truck with another woman. And I, I, you know, I thought that she probably kind of like, you know, try to pull that authoritative role over you when you know you was asking her about uh the space so all right all right so so this is so this is a a home weekly type deal so the being that you being that you teaming and of course fedex you know driving those expedited trucks i'm sure you guys are not able to take that home you being from um Florida, but the job is up in Ohio. How 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 is home time? If it's home time weekly, are you on? Are you at home? Are you catching a flight every week to go down to Florida, or or what? So in this predicament, it is a home weekly job, but technically, I treat it like an OTR job. So I don't go home every week, even though if, you know, I, if I wanted to, I could. But what's the purpose of flying home on a Friday afternoon just to come back on a Sunday night or a Sunday morning? Because I might have a run Sunday morning. So I probably should come back on a Saturday night. You yeah, know, that, so that actually makes, what I yeah, do that is, makes no that makes no sense. Yeah, so instead what I do is I stay up here. The plan is to stay up here for four to six weeks. And um, at the end of those four to six weeks, 
actually, my employer pays for a flight for me to go home, and they'll pay for me a flight to come back when my home time is up for a week. Okay, okay, okay. This sounds uh, that sounds reasonable. That sounds reasonable. Now, uh, of course, your your um your little vent video kind of kind of <laughs> explains things different. So let us know of the of what is home life up here in Ohio with a group of people. Okay, so first off, I'm in a house full of people, and we all rotate in and out of the house. So you might have downtime during the week between the loads, and you just want to get a shower in the house, and you want to sleep in the bed, you know, blah, blah, blah. But technically, these rooms are free game for anybody who's there. But there's particularly one room, only one room, with a door that locks. And it's kind of been claimed by one woman who's been at this company for five years. And she has a closet full of her own things that she puts the lock on that closet. All right. So but, hold on. Oh, hold on. So let's back up. Let's back up a little bit. Um, uh -huh. this, this house is also uh, accompanied by a lot of men right yes it is so you you just said the one room is just associated with i mean associated for for women but how many women other than yourself is in the house three other women so you got Not all, saying all, that. All, 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 Not all you all you guys share that one room with the lock Yes, we do. Um, besides one of them, okay, so the one with the boyfriend, she doesn't stay in that room. She'll stay downstairs in a room with her man that's separate from that room. So it's me, my partner, and the one other woman who rotate in that room. Now, if none of us three ladies are there, the men will go in there, and I guess they'll stay in there, you know, but normally, when us ladies are there, that room is clear for us. Okay, that if that room is associated for the women, why would the men go in there? That don't make no sense. But all right, that so, is a good question. Yeah, that don't that that don't Great make no. Question. Why why if the women is not there, why would you want to go? I I don't get it. That's weird. But um, what let's let's get to uh some of the shenanigans because we already know you know guys go check out my girl Sade on her instagram uh she used to have a tiktok but i don't think she's heavy on tiktok anymore but definitely on instagram uh you can get uh you can check my girl out let's get to some we we already know about you know about you know you and the lady trying to coexist you know in and outside of the truck because you know you like you said on your video she got a lock on the door and y'all can't use it and y'all supposed to but anyway we want to know about the shenanigans that's going on like old boy hitting on you and 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 dude come walking up in the room without even knocking on the door what's up with that let's 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 get to all of that right there <laughs> okay so first thing that happened was uh, there's this guy that I met one night when me and my partner came in town. We were all floating our stuff off of the truck, going back to the house, and he came to pick us up from the house because there were no vehicles at the yard. I met him, we talked, and he seemed really cool. Mm -hmm. Second time around, when I saw him again, you know, he happened to be cooking in the kitchen, me and my partner go downstairs, we're in the kitchen with him, talking with him, starts talking about um, my generation, but not really my generation. He thinks I'm younger than what I am. I'm 30 years old, and I think he thought I was like young 20. Yeah, you, you about, let, let, let me stop you. You, let me stop you. You, you do look young, though. You, I, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna cap. I'm, I'm not gonna cap. Your ass look like your ass look like you in your twenties. 
Yo, your ass look like I, you, I, you in your, you look like you in your twenties, blue, for real, for real. But yeah, you say you're thirty. Continue, my fault. Go ahead. You know, it's okay. It's just that I, you know, you can't assume things. You know, you gotta ask. Sure, but he assumed I was about the young twenties, and he just off the rip. Now he's an African man, and his first thing was, "Tell me about your culture." <laughs> tell me, tell, tell, tell me about your culture. <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell me about I'm your like, culture. Whoa. I'm like, you know, like, that That was harsh. I'm like, just chill. Like, what's going on? And so then he starts, you know, picking at me, saying, oh, I bet you've never planted a flower. Um, I bet after school on Friday, she goes to the mall to get her outfit. Oh. And she goes for the weekend to turn up. Whoa. You know, just saying all these things. Damn, bro. Like, stereotypes. Typical thing. Damn, yeah. oh, who the hell are so you I'm talking like, to me like that? What's up? What? I, right. I'm like, why are you coming at me like that? Like, I don't even I, know you, sir. Okay. Right. Like, ask me some questions to get to know me. But then he talks about his culture and some of the things that they do where he's from. And, you know, he tells us some of the most extreme things that they do. And I'm just like, wow, you know. But that's one incident that mm -hmm. just blew my mind. Okay. Um, but also, he just had to throw in there, shake it up and throw it in there because he asked me multiple times, was I married and how old I was. And uh, he was like, well, just to let you know, I'm eligible to marry whoever I want as long as I'm able to take care of them. You hear me? It, this sounds like, this, this sound like, sound like a candidate for uh, for uh, Kenji G show. <laughs> Oh man! Yeah, yeah. And look, he probably could have went, and she probably would have tore his ass down like she do everybody else. You know, right? But. All right. So, <laughs> so what's up with this? Uh, so, so the next shenanigans. What, what, what's up with this cat that 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 constantly hit on you? I mean, I, you know, I, I think um, a, a female of your caliber. You know, you you kind of thick in the right places, oh. and the dude is over here like. You know, trying to you know try to get up and trying to get up in there and clap them cheeks, man. What's what's up with this guy? So another man who hit on me, he's just double my age, and it was like, okay, you know, he's being a little flirty, whatever. I could brush that off, not take offense to it right, or right. anything like that. But next thing I know. He's like say, um, I I happen to say just throw up and say, man, I think I need to get a hotel room because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stick it out with some of these, um, you know, these personalities in here or right. you know these ways because it's just like it seems like there's no room for, you know, privacy or boundaries. Mm -hmm. And when I said, oh, I might get a hotel room, he's like, oh, well, don't. Uh, don't leave me out. Take me with you. You know, let me know when you do that. Like, <laughs> I, I think, I, I, I think you look at, you're looking at dude like, why, why your ass? Why your ass ain't in the hotel room, my nigga? <laughs> okay, like, I'm, I'm like, uh, no, I'm no, thinking sir. myself. The point of me getting in the hotel room, sir, is to be away from all of you. Right. Just get away from all. Of you. So, but, <laughs> so blue man, you you're you're in the room, minding your business, getting some rest, and all of a sudden, old boy just happens to come up in the room. Is this is this the room that's supposed to be associated with you guys, or was this a different room entirely that you was in? Just to be mindful, third man, totally different man from both other experiences. But this man, first off, I no, it was not the room associated with the ladies. When I made it to the house and I got there, there's three bedrooms upstairs. The one bedroom associated normally with the lady is the only room that's occupied and it's by this man and his partner. So it kind of threw me off because I'm like, 
normally you would be in this other room across from it, but you know, I'm not gonna complain. I'm like, maybe it was unrealistic for me to see that I will always get in that room. Not really knowing at the time that and all the other men know this room is for the lady. I just thought, because I kept going in that room, that automatically, oh, this must be the room only for women. But then I'm like, okay, maybe that was unrealistic of me to see. So I have to go into a different room. When I went into the next room, I realized there was no locked door, uh, no lock on the handle. Went to the other room, no lock on the handle. So I'm like, damn. This is kind of weird. <laughs> the only one room with the lock is that room they're in. So I'm just like, you know, common sense would think they'll knock before they come in. But that was not the case. I was in a room where uh, they house their things, where you can see there's plenty of shoes, there's coats, yoga mat, all types of things. Right. And... Like you said, the man just comes right on in the room to come get his feet. And my mind was like, wow, like you don't even knock, you don't wait, nothing like that. You just come right on in, don't say anything. So then I had to tell him, knock before you come in this room. Mm. So then my mind starts thinking as well after that, like, well, why would you go into that other room? Where the closet is locked, which I have no problem with because I'm not housing my things in this house. If I'm not taking it with me on the truck, it don't need to be with me. Right. But if, if I'm going to take it, if I'm going to be in this room and I'm going to have my stuff with me, my stuff is going to be with me. Why would you be in the one room where all three rooms were free? You could have been in the room where your stuff was, but you chose to be in the opposite room where your stuff is not. And there's the only place where we could lock the door. It made no sense to me with that. And then I thought to myself, I don't want to keep having this conversation because if he did it, obviously the other men will do it too. Exactly. But no, oh, go, go ahead. I'm sorry. But yeah, he was, he was the only one of, that actually did it. He's the only one because even after they left, other men came in and they knew I was in that room. And before they came in the room, I didn't have to tell anybody else. They knocked on the door, waited for me to call them in, and they came in. And they actually offered, hey, do you want to swap rooms? Because normally the ladies are in that room. And that's when those men let me know. Everybody knows. That room is normally for the women, mm. so that just weird. All right, man. All right, this this this. I'm 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 sitting back eating my popcorn right now, man. This this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was eating my popcorn on your um on your initial video too, man. That's that's crazy, man. Shade, thank you very much for as always to uh, chop it up with your boy and all like that, man. But I'm I'm hoping you know you know sometimes. You know, people don't understand, like, you know, some things, you know, have to out, some things have to outweigh others. So you figure that, hey, I'm making, I'm, I'm making this good money, but I'm sacrificing, you know, how my living arrangements are. So going into the, you know, future with this company, you know, depending on how much longer you you deciding to stay with the company um you you just might have to you know go and get a you know go and get a hotel room i mean for a couple of days i mean what like maybe 70 bucks for the weekend or something like that and you just have to start adding that into you know to your budget and, you know and you could save up your money you know save up your money for like you know like 3 months or or six months so you can have a little bit of a cushion of a fallback. And then you could probably go to the old boy and be like, look, man, um, I appreciate the offer, but you know, I, I gave it, I gave it my all. And it's, you know, I'm just going to probably going to have to find something a little bit more, uh, better for me, you know? So, so yeah, but I, I mean, that's what, 
that that's what I would would probably do. I would probably I I wouldn't I I wouldn't like quit like right off the whip and be like bye. But I I you know you said the money is good, and you get paid like what every week or every two weeks. Every week. Oh, but shit. There you go. So you you can save up. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You you could just let the money ride um, in your bank account for about two, three months or for however long you want to let it ride. And then at a point where you feel comfortable that you can hold off for maybe about, you know, a week or two, you know, to get, you know, the transition, you know, you'll be able to find something, you know, find something a little better. Because I understand this is, this is kind of tim uh timid you know you being home you you being in a house with a whole bunch of strangers that sounds like that they don't respect you or respect not just you but respect boundaries. The, the boundaries right you know so so yeah but if get in a hotel you know get in a hotel for a weekend you know what i'm saying I know it's going to cost a lot, but getting a hotel for the weekend to hold you over to 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 the next step will probably be a better idea. See if he can yeah. see see if he can um see if he can pay for it. I'm I'm just saying. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to ask. I him. definitely. I'm, I would definitely be able to because I ain't got no reason not to be able to. Yeah. It's just that you know, you're thinking about it and you're thinking you want to save. You know, everything that you can, but. At this point, I'm feeling uncomfortable, and is it really worth feeling that right, uncomfortability? Right, you don't want and you, not and, having and, like, and your safety, yeah, like you know, and your safety but, is 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 at risk as well. So, yeah. All right, all right, Shade. Day. Everybody, y'all go and make sure y'all check out uh, my girl Shade Day on uh, Instagram. I call her Blue, even though her hair ain't blue no more. I need that blue. I need that blue back. We need to put that blue back. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, guys, we want we about to get on up out of here. And I appreciate you guys listening. Thank you very much, Shade. Thank you as always. You're welcome. Big cheese got it locked. Boy. Want you to love me all night? Yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet? Yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G and yeah, I make a sound. Security, me, your feelings now.